boys, what's up? Welcome to another vlog. Happy Saturday or happy whatever day it is that you're watching this video. Right now, I'm on my way to Buffalo Wild Wings, B-dubs. To be honest, their food's not that great. I think it's average at best. But meeting my girlfriend there, meeting Joe there. Oh, are you, is it? <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi. Uh, I don't know what sauce this I'm is. I'm like so zoomed in on your face right now. Back it up. No, eat it. That is a big freaking pickle. Oh, oh. My friend works here. Waiting for her to come back. Where'd she go? She left. Pickles and then cheese curds and then we're probably gonna get wings. Or at least I am. Just kidding, they're not ready yet. <laughs> this is my friend, she's a waitress. <laughs> ready yet? Just play on YouTube. Are you gonna give us free food? All right, we are on our way to Barnes and Noble, one of my favorite places in the world. You're weird. <laughs> I know I am. I can only buy two books. You need to see his shelf. Like, this is the fact is when we move somewhere together, we can have a huge bookshelf, but you don't have the space for more books in your bookshelf. Put them in the closet. Are you serious? Actually, no, I can just get a bigger bookshelf. No. They're, honestly though, today, Two book max. Two? <laughs> I got a song stuck in my head. What song is that? Come Through by RUI. It's. Hmm? It's not. Yeah. Give me, give me a taste. Give me a sample. You're gonna have to pause it so we don't get copyrighted. I'm waiting for the beat. Skip to the beat. So if you keep playing it, we're gonna up. get copyrighted. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's a good beat. <laughs> We're here. Oh, there's my dad's bank. Wow. Oh, can't show it. We're still waiting. Saturday afternoon traffic. It's been an hour of waiting. No, it hasn't. <laughs> you want to wear the hat? Put it on. Let's see what house you get into. Wait, Gryffindor or Slytherin? I can't. Put it on. No, I can't. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's lame. Okay, a Frenchie. I have a French bulldog, so. I think they know that. Oh, do they? A little stink? Psst. Two books acquired. How many I have, have one. No. Just one, but maybe we'll see more when we go down. <coughs> What'd you find? Oh, we on? We're on camera. Hey, what's up? <laughs> We both vlogging? But, uh, we both vlogging? We're on camera. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Want to show him what book you got? Yeah. First, my blood sugar is a little too high. It says I'm 181. Oh, it's a hair. It's supposed to be below that. We're 170, so I'm starting to feel like poop. Um, okay, so I got it's called the Elite. Yes, there's a pretty beautiful princess on it, but it looks like you. Oh my gosh, you're so right. Pretty she's beautiful a redhead. princess. Her name's America, she's a redhead. I didn't even realize that. Um, there is six books to the series. This is the second one. I'm almost done with the first one, and I really, really like it. And it's just about competition, if I'm being honest. So I like competition? it. Competition? What do you mean, competition? There are a bunch of redheads fighting no, for, for their lives. There are third. 35 girls that go into the palace to marry the one prince and there's six <laughs> i like fantasy stuff okay it's hey me too yeah but it's i'm I mean, a girl so, so i can like this stuff so one dude and 35 girls yeah it's like the bachelor except in 1850 <laughs> I'm just kidding. is it really in 1850 no i'm just saying it's like older Oh, wow, we got dudes watching my channel that can't even get one girl, and that dude is going for 34, 35? 35. <laughs> Golly, 35. come on, boys, step up your game. Come on, you're Cole. stuck with one. I'm not talking to myself, I'm talking to them. Woo! Hunger by Michael Grant. I don't, this is probably uh, mirrored, by the way, so they can't even fucking read this. Whatever, it's I've been reading a lot of fiction, me. and I just got recommended this book right here i'm so fired up to read this it's called red rising i don't even know what it's about but someone said that you would love it so i'm like all right i'll take your word for it so yeah i like reading fiction recently it gives you a nice story you know 
instead of watching a movie, you can sit down and watch a watch. You can read a fiction book. Hey. So yeah. Anyway, let's get out of here. And then we're gonna get home. Matt has some more editing to do, so I'm gonna finish that book because I'm almost done. And then First I'm gonna one. start. Yeah, and then I'm gonna start reading this. Nice, nice. And then I'll just play with Stink. Stink. Or Vincent, excuse me. My French is named Vincent. And I call him Stink because his farts are disgusting. Call him Vinny. Vinny, Stink, Vincent. Tomorrow marks three years since I've met Matt's whole entire family, like the rest of his family. Yeah, whoa, that's crazy actually. That was three, three years ago. Well, three years ago too is the first time we like started flirting like seriously, right? <gasps> You're so right. I, you always tell me that. You're like, Easter is when you started flirting it with is. me. I'm like, oh, okay. So, yeah, three years ago. Three years with this redhead over here. Actually, I'm going gray, though. He actually kind of is on the sides. He's getting, getting old, gray a boys. Bit. Getting old. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I had a piece of advice that I wanted to give at the end of this video. Oh. So it wasn't just a random video where I'm wasting everyone's time. <laughs> <laughs> nah, these are entertaining though, I think. Yeah, we're very entertaining. Sometimes. I wouldn't say funny, but like... Yeah, we're sometimes funny. I think you're ripping ass in the video. <laughs> so, yeah, my lesson for today's video is to stop taking life so seriously. And this is actually something that I'm trying to implement right now, as you know. Because, to be honest, the self-improvement space is, is good. Okay, it can change your life. You want to be doing good habits. You want to be working out. You want to be meditating. You want to be reading books. But at the end of the day, you want to still be able to balance having fun with that. And I fell into this, I guess, rabbit hole in the past where I would just cut people off. It's like, even I've pushed this narrative before of like, oh yeah, cut your friends off. But like, yesterday, we went to a movie with two of my friends and one of my friend's sisters, who you are now friends with, because girls make friends with girls like, like that, like that. Come on. The point is, it made me realize, like, damn, these dude, these are good dudes. These are my friends. Why would I like avoid going to see a movie just to, I don't know, read a book for two hours longer? I don't know, things like that. Like, don't be so serious. Stop stressing over random shit. Have fun. Do what do what you like to do essentially. I'm starting to realize that in self-improvement, it's, there's no right way to do it. Well, also, I do think self-improvement, it's a very wholesome thing, but at the same time, it can get very lonely. And what I mean by that is, oh my gosh, what I mean by that is, yes, you can be doing the self-improvement, working on yourself, becoming happy with yourself, but at the same time, it's not everyone's gonna be on the same damn path as you are. And it's gonna be difficult and it's gonna be lonely. But, like Matt was saying, he found those people that he can still be himself, work on a self-improvement, but find those people that take him as him. Like you can still work on that and find those friends that genuinely take you for you. Like don't overthink that either. That's another thing. So yeah, thing. it's about finding a balance. It's about finding a balance. I've been in that state where I stop hanging out with friends, I just put myself in a box. And I'm like, I just need to make progress, I need to improve, improve, improve. But after a certain point, after a while, it's like you gotta get back out there and do things in the real world. And you have helped me with that, especially. Because when we met, I wasn't hanging out with anybody, honestly. I was I like, but I was happy as fuck, because I didn't care. And I was just happy doing me. But point is, stop taking life so seriously. It's fun. Let it be fun. Stop stressing over random shit. Everything is going to work out the way it should. You always gotta remember that. Like, relax, everything is gonna be okay. I think the one thing that helps me is I just know whatever God's plan is, it's gonna it's gonna happen the way he wants it to. Mm -hmm. You may not see it now, but at the end of the day or the end of whatever bad you think happens in your life, you're gonna see exactly why it was cut out or this happened or that it's because God intended that to happen and you just have to accept it because everything happens for a reason whether you see it or not amen amen and with that it's time for me to go do some editing go do some work and you're gonna and hang out with me yeah and hang out with you yeah and hang out with you <laughs> I guess more vlogs coming soon because this is really fun to do maybe say some things that we should try and do in a vlog 
What's that? Like they should comment some things that we should do. Yeah. Like funny. That would be kind of fun if you guys came up with date ideas. Like what if we vlogged a date idea that someone commented and we vlogged it? If anybody actually comments a date idea, I would be amazed. Okay, well. Somebody will. Somebody will. But I'm just saying. You we'll know see. what I mean. I think that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Low power mode? Oh, oh someone on. Leave a like. Leave a comment. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace. <laughs>